Hi, Real Women of Philadelphia. It's Marisa from Toronto again. I'm glad to be back. So my son, the youngest one, the one who eats everything before I get a chance to use it in my Philly recipes, has said, Mom, these appetizers are great, but they're, no offense, kind of girly. So can you make something for real men? So ladies, no offense, but I'm going to make something for your real men and my real men who love and know the real women of Philadelphia. And I'll show you that in just a second using Philadelphia cream cheese. What else? Everything tastes better with Philly. So real men who love the real women of Philadelphia, today I'm going to make for you sirloin burgers, little mini sliders with pea meal bacon and onion rings fried to top it up. How delicious does that sound? So in my bowl, I have a pound of sirloin meat, a cup of breadcrumbs, and one egg for binding. I'm gonna to add to that a big handful, quarter cup of my chopped oregano from the garden. Yay, everything's growing finally. A good tablespoon of hot chili peppers and dried onion flakes. I love onion flakes, they give such a good flavor to the food and I'm going to add to that like I always do for my hamburgers two big tablespoons of your favorite craft barbecue sauce and I'm just going to mix that up and I find when I'm having barbecue parties I have to have an hors d'oeuvre because my guests for some strange reason always come at different times some of them come up to an hour late so I don't want my other guests to stand around starving. So I feel that if I give them something substantial, it'll make them happy and they won't mind waiting until the other guests arrive so that they can have some of the food. So I'm just mixing this up. I'm going to add a small teaspoon of smoked paprika. I love smoked paprika. It gives everything such a smoky flavor. And that's actually one of my favorite flavors. I would eat anything smoked. I love it. So my ground beef is being mixed up and it's done. I'm just going to wash my hands and then I'm going to make the filling that goes inside of this. In this bowl, I have half a container of Philly cream cheese with two tablespoons of chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. That means it's hot in a tomato sauce. And I know a lot of guys like a bit of spice, so that's what I'm putting inside the burger. So I've done a few. All I do is roll the meat into a ball, like a meatball, put a depression into it, put it down, grab another piece, well, fairly the same size, a little bit wider because it has to go over the filling and I just put that on and cover one on top of the other. And then I just press the sides so that they all seal. And then I use my thumb and fingers to seal all the sides. So I'm going to top these fabulous little burgers with pea meal bacon. And when my husband and I, I dragged my husband to the women's show this fall. And he was one of six out of hundreds and hundreds of women. It was totally hilarious. But I needed someone to carry all my shopping. So I dragged him to the women's show and we met the owner of the pea meal bacon that I'm going to use. Such a gracious man. And his product is sold in all the grocery stores. So whenever my husband wanted seconds, because he was one of six men, he would have no problem getting seconds and all the women at the booths would recognize him because how could you not with just so few men and it was so hilarious. Whenever he passed another man it was like, hey, how you doing? You got dragged here too. But it was just hilarious. But I and barbecue season is finally here. So I'm just patting the sides, making cute little patties four, eight, nine, and I have just one more. Actually, it worked out perfectly. And these are a perfect little size for even children so that they don't feel left out because the grown-ups are having grown-up food. Although you may have to omit or adjust some of the seasoning. 
And that's it, ladies. These are done. I'm going to prepare in your freezer, wrapped properly, and then defrost it the day you need it when you're having guests. Or it can go in the, freeze, in the fridge the day before or even up to two days before. So actually, they're quite versatile. And I'll see you back soon. So now I'm ready to make the batter for my onion rings. In this bowl, I have two medium-sized onions that I sliced and I removed the little pieces, the pieces that I can't use for frying and I'm reserving the big rings so that they fry in my batter and we have nice big onion rings. And I've got two tablespoons of cornstarch in here. That'll help adhere to the batter. In here I have two tablespoons of the Philly and Chipotle pepper sauce that I had that didn't get used for all the hamburgers, so I'm going to incorporate it into my batter. A tablespoon of oregano to marry the same flavors that are in the hamburger themselves. This one's dry though. Some salt, pepper to taste, a cup of flour, and an egg. I'm just going to add some water to this. And I like my batter to have the consistency of like a thick pudding so that I can make sure that I cover all the onion rings that I'm having. And did I say that I put a teaspoon of baking powder in here too? I want it to rise. So I really don't mix it for a long time because I want the flour just to amalgamate and break into the batter and I let it rest. So now I'm going to take this all outside and we're going to do this outside. Wow, look at those little sliders. Some of them have popped open, they're so full. But that's okay, you just see more of the filly. And look at the Canadian pea meal bacon. It's just cooking nicely. It has very low fat, but it's so delicious. And that's going to go on top of the burgers. My guests are going to love these craft cheddar topped burgers. So everything's ready. Here's my batter with the onion rings in it. And here's my onion rings frying. I love frying outside because it puts all the smell outside and I don't have to worry about any splatters. I had so much batter left that I added some mushrooms to the batter and now I'm doing mushroom fritters. And here they are in the pan browning up nicely. So I've topped these juicy little burgers with some cheese. The pea meal bacon is on the bottom. Now I'm just putting in some onion rings. I use mayonnaise. You can use mustard, ketchup, whatever you like on your burgers. And they're just so monstrous, these little sliders. I'm Italian, I do everything big. That I need to put a big huge skewer in them. And so I just have a few more to go. As you can see, the onions are all crisped. These are going to be every real man's delight. And I even fried up some mushrooms because I had the leftover batter. And look how high these are. Let me see. I want some nice little onion rings to fit in. And there's always little extra onion rings that anyone can eat. And let me just cut one so you can see it. Oh, look at that. You can see the Chipotle, Philly, all my herbs, the pea meal bacon. I've got to taste this. This is not going to be pretty. Mmm. So creamy. So delicious. Just a little bit spicy. The herbs are fabulous. And look at that Philly oozing out. I hope you like this, ladies. I'm sure your men will too. We'll see you soon. Look at this gorgeous platter. And look at those onion rings and mushrooms.